I think a squirrel just threw a leaf at me. You guys did so good, my little stars. That looks like many cell phones at an LA party. to the vlog. I am currently on the podcast set of Perfect Person. That's right. Literally what's good. This Literally is like what's good. Lighting. Wait, also, you, you guys are so tall. Like, I have this issue with Jeremy all the time where it looks like this. Oh, yeah. This is Yeah, <laughs> where it looks exactly like Two this. Two torsos. And now... And now you're up to our level. There we go. That's so... That That's so you're a little... Perkins. You're a little lip. Little, just going over the bottom of the head. camera. <laughs> That's so nice. So we did the perfect person right. um, pod. Perfect person. Had some fucking crazy calls. Yeah, When's this gonna come out, Miles? This will come out uh, two weeks, maybe. In two weeks. Yeah, okay. Two weeks, three weeks, maybe. Man, that was wild. We have some Still family nine. trauma that we got to give our unsolicited. No, I guess it was solicited advice. It was solicited because it was, they called in. Yeah, it was solicited because they called in. Anyways, she was crazy. We didn't say it was good, by the way. Didn't say it was good advice. Just solicited. Just it solicited. Name. It was asked for. Yeah, yeah. Whether yeah. it was good. Yeah. Anyways, it was wild. So that'll be out in a couple weeks. Um, the set is so freaking cute. Thank you. Sorry, did you do this yourself? Did you? Uh, I'm Miles DIY. <gasps> That's right. Wow. Yeah, I didn't have a set. By the way, your guys' set looks phenomenal. Thank I you. always look at pictures of it when I'm like, that is where the money's at. Three years later. Three, yeah. three years, years later. later. And a lot of swearing. A lot of swearing. Yeah. Did you have a set that you didn't like before? I just like... So cute. Anything in a room. So cute. Yeah, so house. cute. Yeah, for sure. So cute. I know the mic is going this way. So cute is what I'm saying. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Thank so you. Cute. So cute. Hello. Um, it's later on in the day. I don't know why I feel like I, feel like I need to speak so quietly. It's just so peaceful here. Um, so for episode four of Amateur Artist, um, I worked with Gunnar Dethridge, who is a Project Runway MVP all-star. And um, so we did a video together and um because i feel like i'm just like really giving this series my all um i wanted to film i think a squirrel just threw a leaf at me winded <laughs> um i wanted to film the final b-roll of what we made together um at a fitting place we also literally spent over 12 hours sewing and hand stitching and putting together this incredible piece so i really wanted to not look like i'd just been sewing for 12 hours before um putting on the final piece and giving it its real moment that it deserves so i found this conservatory on peer space and it's just in the backyard of this lady's stunning house i decided that i wanted to do a welcome party for the wedding in the spring and and I genuinely am like, this is beautiful. Let me give you a little tour. I just like, this is like one of the reasons why I love LA so much. I just feel like having access to spaces like this year round is just something that I'm still not used to and I'm so grateful for. It is genuinely so beautiful. Um, okay, look at some, it's just it's so pretty. It's so pretty, I don't get it. Okay, oh my God, there's like the most beautiful garden over here. Stunning, giving Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> and then look at this conservatory, just like in her backyard. So stunning, oh my God. Oh, so we're gonna shoot the photos. I think just like on the outside of this, I think like 15, 20 minutes, this sun will be gone here. So it'll all have like a nice soft light. Cause like the reflection on the windows. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. And then you go inside, there's little birdies in here. She holds like craft classes and stuff in here. Adorable, like everything. Oh, I just love a cute little knickknack. And there's so much cute craft stuff and florals. Like the vibe that she has curated here is absolutely incredible with these chandeliers and lights and little, little birds, just so little. Just little guys, just a little guy. I know nothing about birds. I have no idea what kind of bird this is. <laughs> Literally zero idea, I know nothing. I could name you a hundred dog breeds, could not tell you anything about birds. 
But anyways, so here's the inside of here. We probably won't use, oh my God, I've never seen a double one of these. How cute. That's adorable for like a baby shower or something. Um, no plans for that anytime soon. But um, wow, so cute, never seen one of those before. So won't use the inside of this, but I wanted to show you because it's just so like wonderfully styled. And then we've got these stairs. This is like just like an open area here. These stairs here are also really nice. The house is just so picturesque. Oh my God. Oh, there's like a little, another little green. Come on, sun flare. This little green room right here. God, everything is just so cute. I'm dead. Love it. Like this angle right here. Are you kidding? That's adorable. Anyways, these photos are unsurprisingly gonna be bridal themed um, because that's what the video was. So there's a hint for you. I'm excited. Wow, the way the lighting right now is absolutely incredible. This place is so freaking darling and cute. So like I'm from the Midwest when I say darling, it's so darling. Um, the sun is setting. I hate when I feel like summer, I know it's October, I know it's literally mid-October and summer I think is actually officially over, like legitimately. Um, but look at the sunset in the reflection of this freaking conservatory. Anyways, the photos and the videos of the dress look did I say it was a dress? I said it was bridal. You assumed. You already knew. Um, look absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to show you. I'm not going to spoil it because we just put in so many hours of work to this dress and it turned out so great. So um, it'll either go up on this Sunday or the Sunday after. I'm not entirely sure when this vlog will go up, but um, either way, coming soon or is already out and I can't wait for you to see this episode. It is incredible and Gunnar is so incredibly talented and I am obsessed with this space seriously like i'm genuinely considering maybe like a welcome party situation here could be cute the other thing is is that we all got fucked oh by mosquitoes that that kills except for it'll be like like not like a very romantic vibe my ankles got fucked oh fucked up fucked up real bad um and so maybe that's not the vibe actually but so cute so freaking cute let me show you one more time because the sun is setting and the drive home is going to be absolutely amazing i can already tell oh look at it adorable freaking adorable hello good morning i i mean where where else could i possibly be wearing this right now <laughs> This is my formal apology for posting a Christmas video last week on the vlog channel. <laughs> my friend Danny is visiting from out of town. She's my friend from Toronto and we are doing a day at Disneyland and all of Disney is in full Halloween mode right now. Literally the last time that I was at Disneyland was the day that Jeremy asked me to be his girlfriend almost five years ago. So it has been a hot minute. Also so sorry, there's gum in my mouth. I hate people vlog with gum in their mouth. So sorry, apologies. Um, so I dug out the old ears. We went thrifting and vintage shopping on Sunday. We both have um, vintage uh, Disney shirts on. Mine is so cute. Hopefully you can see the glitter. This is what it looks like. She's so cute. I am so excited to be here. It is so festive. The weather is perfect. It's not Satan's asshole whatsoever. The temperature is just chef's kisses. I'm so excited. So we're starting our day in California Adventure and then gonna head over to Disneyland. Before they used to have fast passes where you could go to the ride, get a ticket to skip the line and come back later, but you had to like physically go and like get that ticket and then come back. So it was like a lot of back and forth. Now they have a thing called the Genie Plus service. We're just able to book a ride over on the Disneyland side while we start in California Adventure and we're able to like get an Indiana Jones pass for later on. So like the upgrades in the last five years i am a fan of so we have planned our day we have an itinerary the must eats our dole whip and disney beignets the mickey beignets are so cute and then other than that we'll see where the day takes us i think the must do's as well too we're gonna start california adventure i want to do the radiator springs uh cars roller coaster ride that one is super fun and then last time i was here tower of terror has now been turned into the guardians of the galaxy um like drop zone experience so we for sure want to do those two over here we'll probably get lunch at pixar pier and then head on over to disneyland and i can't wait so my formal apology, 
for posting a Christmas video in October. I will bring you along for the full Halloween experience at Disneyland. Uh, please accept my deepest condolences. Okay, I fucked up and our first ride was Guardians of the Galaxy and my 30 year old body struggled through this, but it was so fun. And this one was new for me. First time I've been on it since it's transitioned. We went over to Radiator Springs next, which is one of my favorite sections because the racers ride is the best. We definitely waited the full hour for this one, which honestly was like necessary to give my feeble body the time that it needed to recover from Guardians of the Galaxy. Ticket prices at Disneyland always seem so crazy when I'm swiping my card, but then when I see how intricate and incredible all of these built out scenes are in these rides, I'm like, okay, yeah, take my money. Lightning McQueen needs his maintenance. <laughs> So sunny, I'm just literally, I don't even know if my eyes will be open for any of this clip. I'm just looking in the general direction of the camera. Um, hello, update. My body does not do roller coasters like it used to. <laughs> um, we were successfully able to use our genie pass to do, um, oh no, we set our genie pass to do Indiana Jones later on the other side. And so far we have done uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which when I tell you that my body and my bag are floating in the air under these tiny little seatbelts, I was unwell. I was unwell. I think that might've been a little too intense for my body at the very start of the day. Um, so that was our first ride. We just got off of cars. We submitted our lunch order in San Francisco, which is brand, well, it's probably not new. It's new to me. I don't think it's new to the actual park and it is so freaking cute. Oh my, it looks, it looks so good. It's also like quite chill here today. I'm so happy with like the wait times are not crazy. So sorry, there's like screaming roller coaster going by currently. Um, I'm at uh, the Pixar Pier right now. I, I love it here. Why did it take me so long to come back? It's like, everything is just, it's so nice here. I know that like Disney adults really get roasted online. Everyone is just so nice here. I understand why people are really, really like asphyxiated on Disney. I want to come back for Christmas. I want to come back more often. Um, I also just like love being a fan. Like I'm down to rally in a shirt and an ears. Maybe I'm going to fuck around and get a backpack and a sweater for sure when it gets cold, when it gets a little cooler this evening. Um, but regardless, I support you, Disney adults, for the most part. As long as you're not like fucking with anyone, you know what I mean? Then, then I don't support that. But anyways, um, having a grand old day and so excited to get lunch. I also want to make a note because I feel like this was not clear in my last clip that Jeremy did not ask me to be his girlfriend at Disneyland. He asked me that evening later on. Um, as my friend, as Danny was listening to the clip as I was recording it, she was like, wait, did, did, that makes you a Disney adult. She's like, this is like the same level as Disneyland proposal if he asked you to be his girlfriend at Disneyland. And so I want to clarify, although there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, um, I feel like I just needed to clarify that fact. Aunt Crass Cafe, a soba noodle salad, and then we're splitting a turkey pesto sandwich. I really wanted the mac and cheese that's in a bread bowl, but I know that being lactose intolerant plus rides and mac and cheese is probably not in my best interest and I am reflecting on that. Um, here's where we are. We finished up in California Adventure and parked hopped over to Disneyland and the Halloween stuff is so freaking cute. We also just happened to be arriving at the same time as this little Halloween character parade, which was truly optimal timing. We used our lightning lane passes to book Indiana Jones for the afternoon and had a cute little jungle cruise moment while we waited. It has been years since I've been on the jungle cruise and I was just genuinely happy to sit and be a passenger princess for 15 minutes. Oh my God, what is happening here? Okay, post Indiana Jones hair is obviously what this is currently. Um, I just got Dole Whip. Honestly, the mobile ordering situation is so key to efficiency here. Holy shit, G genuinely game changing. Indiana Jones, so fun, 10 out of 10. Um, I thought there was a photo op, and so the way that right before the like giant ball is about to like crush you, the way that I had my hands in the air in the biggest peace sign pose, Thank God I was in the back seat and no one else saw, except for Denny, because my God, was I 
so sad when I realized that there was not a photo op um, because so far my photos have been not great. Not great, not my best work, not my best work whatsoever. Um, I've walked over to the side of like this tiki hut because the music over here is super, it's bumping, it is bumping. Um, also energy levels, thriving. It's only like just before maybe three o'clock, like 2.30 or so, and I am feeling great. We've definitely hit 7,000 steps already, but I am feeling wonderful. Okay, onward we go. The way someone just got engaged in front of the castle. I gave you the best Disney adults, I fucking support you. I am out here supporting you. That was the cutest shit ever. Literally, everyone in front of the castle just burst out into cheers, and it was the most wholesome shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> so sweet. She has ears on and everything. I could cry. I could cry. Anyways, I'm at the castle. <laughs> Wow. God damn, that was cute. Have a magical day indeed. Have a magical day indeed. I kind of feel like if you get engaged at Disney, they should sponsor your wedding. No, they that would be an expensive they choice. They probably just give you like a wedding pamphlet. A and wedding, yeah, like, oh, yeah. So when you want to plan right. your wedding. $300,000, please. It's actually not that expensive. I looked into it just for research purposes. At, at Disney? <laughs> Update. We're fading. We're fading, but we had beignets. And I just had a major beignet incident. That looks like many cell phones at an LA party. Oh no. Mickey beignet. On it, gonna be honest, it's kind of flat and squishy. Like it's not the most beautiful beignet I've ever seen, but it might be delicious. Mm. Okay, so here we're catching. Wow. Describe it. Warm. What else? Buttery. What else? Sugary. Definitely flat. They're so delicious. Oh, I can feel my soul coming back into my body. Oh my god. Mmm. It was worth it. This is kind of like in a far corner of the park. Worth, worth the steps. Nailed it. Yum. We saw Donald waddling around over in Toontown and oh my God, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad was a sleeper favorite. I thought this was gonna be a kitty ride, but it was so cute and so fun and also so air conditioned while we waited in line. $30 extra to use the lightning lane was so clutch and the clutchiest of clutch for Haunted Mansion. The wait time was literally two and a half hours um, by time the evening rolled around, but we waited maybe 20 minutes with the lightning lane and it was so good. Okay, I'm gonna find some good spooky music and let you enjoy this as if you were in my little ride pod with me. Okay, so what happened again, I somehow managed to shoot two full clips that were like really solid in slow motion. So here's me walking through this incredible like mirror lit 
sunflower experiential museum portion. Danny and I ventured over to Beverly Hills today to go to the Mr. Brainwash Museum, which has been advertised to me on Instagram about one billion times. And it's like not new or anything. So I don't know why I'm being targeted so uh, hardcore right now. And needless to say, the advertising worked. I caved, I gave in, and honestly, we had such a great time. The art was really fun and I would say it's like a combination of an art gallery and also has like interactive elements. So there's definitely not a shortage of things to do. We were there for a solid hour and because it's not new, it was basically empty and we rarely even had another person in the room with us as we were looking at everything at the museum. Okay, so hopefully this will be the last time and I will have learned my lesson and won't shoot another clip in slow motion. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the tour of the museum and the ticket price was only $20 and truly for the amount of time that we spent here, it was so well worth it. Halloween costume of the year. Um, I am Blossom, your fearless leader, and you will get to meet my two partners in crime in a quick moment. I'm sure you can guess, uh, spoiler, it's not Jeremy. Jeremy is not Bubbles, although I'm sure that you thought that he was. Uh, unfortunately, not this year. I'll show you what they look like in a second because it's it's out of this world cute. So this one was just for a TikTok. I don't think we're going anywhere. I think the way that Moose would literally murder me in my sleep if I tried to make him go out in this costume. He also kind of looks like Peter Pan a little bit. I think it's the belt. Like if the belt was brown, it would be perfect. He really only looks the part when you've got the trio. Which I can say the same for myself as well though too, I feel like. Um, anyways, we are going to a Halloween party tonight, but Danny agreed to help me film this TikTok because I needed someone to help the dogs dance when it was their time to shine. And like the way that I am sweating and out of breath from filming this TikTok, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. So anyways, um, can't wait for you to see the final results. I think it's gonna be hysterical. I think it's going to be um, a work of art, truly. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Um, Jeremy and I tonight, I will show you our costumes once we are ready. We're gonna do Pink Panther and Detective. I still have to make my ears and the party's in like a couple hours. Um, but that is tonight. And then to be honest, we don't really have that many Halloween plans this weekend. So I think that this, might be it, this TikTok, which honestly, just this TikTok alone is probably gonna be worth it. And then um, the one party tonight, and it's the 27th today. So I don't know if we have actual plans for Halloween day yet. This uh, might be my only opportunity to shamelessly eat mass amounts of Halloween candy. So may have to take that later tonight. Also, I heard that Snoop Dogg is performing tonight at the Halloween party. So um, we'll do a little bit of vlogging for you. Can't wait, okay. Blossom, I think this is gonna be it for you. I might wrangle the boys and see if they'll take a photo with me. They really put up with a lot though for the TikTok, so they they might be they might be done. Their talent um, manager may come wrangle them in a moment. I've got my buttercup, and I've got my bubbles. I've got my bubbles. Oh my god, I'm the the TikTok like look at you just the, these. I'm dead. They're just dog sweaters. Oh, Moose, Diggy, your um your belt has slipped down a bit. They're just dog sweaters in our Powerpuff Girls um, colors. <laughs> you guys did so good. My little stars. Oh my guineas. Oh my guineas. Wow. Moose is so buttercup and Diggy is so bubbles. It's perfect. It's literally so perfect. Hello, it is fully the next day and um, I basically ran out of time. Hi Diggo. Between uh, taking Danny to the airport after we filmed that TikTok. Um, also Bubbies is right here. Oh, good morning, Bubber. 
Um, anyway, so I didn't get a chance to kind of close out the vlog last night before we went to the Halloween party. Snoop Dogg was in fact there. I will play some of the clips now. And I also didn't get a chance to film when I was making my Pink Panther ears because again, it was just like full chaos trying to get ready in time. Um, so here are my ears. I also had a flop pair that I made first. And then again, because I was in a rush, I just like made them. I didn't have my phone because it was charging before we left. And I should have looked at a photo because Pink Panther ears are like kind of far apart and they're like a little bit taller but they're like small and um maybe coming off of the disneyland visit i had just like a vision of mickey mouse ears and so anyways had to scrap the first pair entirely made these ones these ones were so much better also like the costume obviously was like not the most creative i also love a low lift effort costume um and you also kind of needed both of us for it to make sense because jeremy could have been just like any detective um but i'll insert some photos that we got last night that were pretty cute and i think that's gonna be it for my um entire halloween weekend of plans um there is a new amateur artist out by the time you are watching this where i worked with gunner just stomping through the background of the video with the, what is this <laughs> also jeremy's got the fancy meta ray-ban glasses on by the way he's not trying Can't to cause you my podcast babe that's so crazy. The, 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 the glasses are literally playing a podcast and it like comes out of the arms of the glasses. It's crazy. Crazy. Uh, lost my train of thought. Hope you enjoyed coming along um, with us to Disneyland and I will see you in the next one and go watch the new episode of Amateur Artist. Okay, bye guys.